You plug in your Tesla every night thinking it's as simple as charging your phone. But what if I told you that a common habit, something you probably did last night, could be silently hurting your car's most expensive part, the battery? This isn't just about losing a few miles of range. We're talking about mistakes that can speed up your battery's aging process, potentially leading to expensive repairs and a lower resale value. Even long-time owners make these critical errors. So today, we're going to break down the five most costly Tesla charging mistakes and show you exactly how to fix them for good. First up, the biggest mistake, treating your Tesla's battery like an old gas tank and filling it to 100% every single night. You get home, plug in, and slide that limit to the max, thinking more is always better. For the lithium-ion battery that powers your car, this is one of the worst things you can do for its long-term health. Here's why in simple terms. Keeping your battery at 100% charge puts a ton of stress on its cells. Imagine stretching a rubber band to its absolute limit and just leaving it there. Eventually, it loses its snap. The same thing happens inside your battery. High voltage speeds up chemical degradation which permanently kills your battery's capacity to hold a charge. The same goes for letting your battery drop to near zero all the time. That puts a different but equally damaging stress on the cells. The solution is the 80-20 rule. For daily driving, you want to keep your battery somewhere between 20% and 80%. That's the sweet spot where the battery is happiest and experiences the least stress. Now there's a huge exception here. Cars with LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are usually in the standard range models. If you have an LFP battery, Tesla wants you to charge to 1%. 100% at least once a week. This isn't for battery health, but to help the battery management system or BMS get an accurate reading of your available range. You can check which battery you have right on the charging screen in your car. If you see daily and trip settings, you have a standard lithium ion battery and should stick to an 80% or at most 90% daily limit. If you just see 50% and 100% markers, you've got an LFP battery. For everyone else, do this right now. Go into your Tesla app or the car's touchscreen, head to the charging menu and and slide that daily charge limit down to 80%. Only push it higher when you're about to head out on a long road trip. This simple tweak is actively preserving the most valuable component in your car. The second mistake is charging in extreme temperatures without thinking twice. Your battery is a bit of a Goldilocks. It hates being too hot or too cold and charging just amplifies those feelings. Let's start with cold. Trying to charge a freezing battery, especially at a supercharger, is not only super slow but can also also cause something called lithium plating. This is where lithium ions basically get stuck on the surface of the anode instead of being absorbed by it, causing permanent damage. Think of it like scar tissue forming inside the battery. It's irreversible and chokes its performance. On the other hand, extreme heat is just as bad. Charging your car when it's been baking in the sun on a scorching hot day speeds up the chemical reactions inside the battery, which accelerates aging. Your car's cooling system will have to work like crazy, which wastes energy and adds wear and tear. The solution is to use one of Tesla's best features preconditioning. If you're heading to a supercharger, always use the car's navigation to get there, even if you know the way. The car will automatically warm the battery to the perfect temperature for a fast and safe session. For home charging in the winter, use the scheduled departure feature. It warms up the cabin and the battery, so it's ready to take a charge safely and efficiently. Beyond that, the advice is simple. Whenever you can, park in a garage or a shady spot. Protecting your car from the worst of the heat and cold creates a stable environment that you your battery will thank you for. Mistake number three is getting hooked on superchargers for your daily power-up. I get it. They're incredibly fast and feel like you're living in the future, but using a DC fast charger every day is like living on a diet of energy drinks. You get a quick jolt, but it's not a healthy long-term plan. Here's the deal. Your home charger uses AC power, which the car slowly converts to DC power for the battery. It's a gentle process. Superchargers blast high-voltage DC power directly into the battery, generating way more heat and putting the cells under much more stress. Tesla's thermal management system is phenomenal, but repeatedly putting the battery through that high stress cycle can speed up degradation. Plus, let's be honest, supercharging is almost always more expensive than charging at home. You're paying a big premium for speed you probably don't need on a daily basis. The fix is to make home charging your default. Over 80% of all EV charging happens at home overnight, for good reason. For most people, even a standard wall outlet can cover the average daily commute. Investing in a level 2 wall connector is the goal standard of course. It's faster and lets you keep the mobile connector in your trunk for emergencies. Treat your Tesla like your smartphone. Plug it in when you get home, let it charge gently to its 80% limit, and wake up every single morning with a full tank. 
Save the superchargers for what they were built for, making road trips awesome. The fourth mistake is letting invisible power drain suck your battery dry while it's just sitting there. You might think your car is off, but certain features can keep it awake and constantly sipping energy, causing unnecessary wear on the battery. The number one culprit? Sentry mode. It's an amazing security feature, but leaving it on 24-7 in your secure home garage is total overkill. Sentry mode keeps the car's cameras and computers on high alert, and it can drain about 1% of your battery every hour. That doesn't sound like much, but it adds up to a huge amount of wasted energy over a month just for your car to watch a garage wall. Another phantom drain comes from some third-party apps. Those cool apps that track your efficiency and stats, some of them are constantly pinging your car for updates preventing it from ever entering its low power deep sleep mode. If your car never truly sleeps, it's always draining power. The solution is to just be smart with your settings. Tell sentry mode to automatically turn off at home, work, or other saved locations where you know the car is safe. This one tweak will save a surprising amount of range. Then, do a quick audit of your third-party apps. Check their settings for a polling or refresh frequency. Set it as low as you can, or turn it off completely. Let your car get its sleep. You'll save energy and reduce the number of tiny charge cycles that add up over time. The final costly mistake is blowing off software updates. It's so easy to see that notification and hit snooze, thinking it's just for new games or a slightly different look, but you're missing out on some of the most important improvements tests makes, especially for the battery. Tesla's engineers are always finding new ways to refine the battery management system BMS. These free over-the-air updates often include major breakthroughs in charging efficiency, battery cooling, and power management. When you ignore an update, you're essentially running your car on outdated tech, missing out on optimizations that directly protect your battery. Your car also has its own built-in doctor. It will tell you if something is wrong. Ignoring a battery-related alert on your screen is asking for trouble. A small issue that could be an easy fix can quickly become a massive, expensive problem. A battery replacement is the costliest repair you can face and many problems are preventable if you catch them early. The solution here is the easiest one on this list. Keep your car updated. When you get a notification, connect to Wi-Fi and install it. Think of it as a free upgrade that makes your car smarter and healthier and just pay attention to your car. Check the notifications on the screen and in the app. Tesla even rolled out a battery health test you can run yourself. By staying on top of updates and diagnostics, you're ensuring your Tesla is always running on the best software designed to protect your investment. Alright, so there you have it. 5 costly mistakes and 5 simple fixes to protect your Tesla's battery and your wallet. Getting this right will pay off for years. Now I want to hear from you. What charging habits do you swear by? Are you on team LFP charging to 100% or do you stick to the 80% rule? Drop a comment below because your experience could really help another owner out. And if you found this valuable, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more tips to get the most out of your Tesla. Let's do a quick recap. First, for most Teslas, stick to the 80-20 rule daily. Second, use preconditioning and park in the shade to avoid extreme temps. Third, make slow home charging your primary fuel and save superchargers for road trips. Fourth, manage sentry mode and third-party apps to stop phantom drain. And fifth, always install the latest software updates. These aren't complex, they're simple habits that will make a massive difference over the life of your car. You're not just saving a few miles of range, you're preserving the value of your investment ensuring your Tesla stays efficient and fun to drive for many years to come. Charge smart and drive happy.